Hey, what's up everyone? Look how creepy in this picture. Just look how creepy he looks there. Declaring victory. <clears throat> Another thing I want to talk about is how this guy went from not being able to put two words together properly and not being able to maintain a functional sentence to suddenly being able to have a cognitive function, a cognitive ability, a speaking ability, and being able to move around just like he's, what, 16? A man his age does not move around like I've seen him move lately. It was It's creepy. He was taking three steps. He was moving his legs. I can't find that footage now. But he was almost like gliding, like floating up the plane, up the steps of that airplane. Taking three whole steps at a time. A man his age does not do that after going from Dementia Joe to not, then not being able to, to, I mean, not having an issue. You don't go from, and then these black eyes that I notice when he speaks. Dark black eyes. There's something else now. That's not Joe. I didn't like him to begin with. I didn't agree with him. I don't like him. I didn't care for him as an individual. I knew that he was... I knew his agenda. I know what his administration's agenda was. I saw it. I saw what they did. The anti-American laws they set into place anti-human rights laws pretty much but I just don't I've seen a footage of when Taylor Swift would do the same thing when she would suddenly except she was walking sideways like a crab it was really creepy that was obtained by TMZ years ago when they were recording her walking to this back alley It's just not right at all. Something is something is completely wrong. I don't know whether and I've witnessed this myself. I've witnessed reptilians. I've witnessed people shift right in front of my eyes. Especially during the previous administration. And a lot of the strange activity that used to happen during the previous administration has started back. I know it's all part of the inevitable plan of God. President Trump signed several bills into place. For Israel and created the pathway for the third temple to be built he did create he did create several bills for God put him in place I guess I suppose to be a leader in this time to it fulfill he fulfilled several prophecies that would lead toward inevitably he was keeping us from it but now that he's in there if he is It'll, in, it'll lead directly, inevitably, toward the NWO. And then in 2024, we have the eclipse moving right across the United States again, splitting us in half, splitting us apart. And then, if you've ever... Look up the Event 201 video, please, everyone, look that up. The woke people, the real awakened individuals, will know those with eyes will see event 201 was a preparation that took place August or September of last year of the coronavirus and a what if scenario or we'd have to change our entire financial system and everything a new form of capitalism, away from capitalism, actually, and then changing over toward a new government, one world government system, and changing away from 
the America we know. And that's what was listed under Event 201, Pandemic Situation. I mean, it's so planned, it was just, it's obvious. You can see that back from August of last year. And then in December, they said we need a new form of government and financial system. Financial system in, in case of inevitable collapse. And then this happens. And there they are, just looking creepy as ever, Creepy Joe there. And then Kamala, who is one of the ones that will be pulling the strings. It's so obvious, but the current administration really did put a lot, he did a lot for Israel and the people, and did God's will. I guess this is all in God's plan, because what we're seeing now will inevitably move toward the revealing of, the, of what's about to come, and then the coming of the Lord. I think the 2030 period will be really an important pivotal point. If you remember last time, John Kerry, all he could do was talk about the Messianic agenda, the coming of the Messiah, and Netanyahu of Israel said, we're tired of them talking about that. We've got to force the coming of the Messiah. They kept saying that during Obama's administration. Now it's just continuing to inevitably flow. But the way he moved is really creepy. The way he moved up those steps, the way his eyes are black at times, the way he presents himself suddenly in a way that he can actually cognitively function. Come on, you don't go from, I'm doing that little, come on man, pun intended there. But you don't go from not being able to put two words together to speaking that well. Unless you've either had something done to your brain or you're not the same person. Peace. I see that I see that in a lot of news media people and I see it a lot in a lot of political individuals and influential individuals, social media influencers as well. And and CEOs. But it should be obvious to so many. Anyway, peace. God bless. Much love. Signing out. Much love, my YouTube family. What do you think? Signing out.